Okay, now I'm going to place a triple lumen center line using the 20 gauge angiocath method to float my wire. I am at the appropriate landmark, so as soon as I get under the skin, I'm going to hold negative pressure, and then I'm just going to advance until I hit the vein. So I'm just going to lower my angle and advance the angiocath in. And now that that's in, I'm going to remove the needle and cover this port up. So before I float my wire, I need to verify that I'm truly in the IJ and not in the carotid. So to do that, I'm going to use some sterile non-compliant tubing here. And I'm just going to hook it up there. And then I'm going to raise this tubing in the air. And it looks as though it's venous. If it were arterial, that blood would pulsate uh, the entire length of the tubing. So if I really want to make sure that this is venous, I can hand this to a, uh, an assistant and they can transduce the waveform for me. Now that we've verified that this is truly venous blood, I'm going to remove this tubing. Now I'm just going to float this wire. Now I can remove my angio cap there. Be careful not to cut the actual wire, so I nick my skin there, and now I float this dilator over the wire, and advance this dilator one to two centimeters under the skin, just to facilitate passage of the central catheter itself. Now that I've nicked the skin and used the dilator, it's time to thread this central lumen catheter over the wire, but before I do that, I got to make sure that I clamp the white and the blue port. and then I remove the cap off this brown port. I'm removing the cap off the brown port because that is the port that the wire is going to thread through. So now that I've done that, let's float this catheter over the wire. I'm going to pull the wire back until I see it come out the brown port. Okay, I see it there. So now that I'm holding on to the wire, I can thread this catheter over the wire. Okay, now I need to clamp my brown port as soon as this wire comes out. Now it's time to sew this thing in. Now that this central line is sewn into place, I'm going to attach these clave connector lure lock adapters to each port. So on the brown port, I'll just hook it up. On the blue and the white port, I'm going to take off these needle ports and trade them out in favor of these clave connectors. Now that these uh, clave connectors are connected sterilely, it's now time to take off my drape. Now it's time to put on a sterile opsite. Now it's time to hook up our CVP to the brown port. And then to the white and the blue port, we can hook up an extra 
line for IV infusions. And then we can hook up our extra line for uh, fluids and drug boluses.